Well, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Tina and, and Jennifer, uh, for having me here today. Um, welcome, everybody, to this incredible uh, session on, uh, on social media. Uh, love to see this crowd uh, here in, uh, at Stanford in, in the heart of the valley. Um, so it does seem to me uh, that when it comes to social media, we are still kind of uh, in the infancy. And I want, to, I want to tell you a little story, which I may, I'm one of the few people, maybe some of the panelists are old enough to remember this, but, um, but if, if you're as old as I am, you remember uh, the early computer games. I want to tell you a little, bit about, a little bit about this. So in the early days of the PC, before we had Windows, okay, so there was a time before Windows, uh, <laughs> there was DOS, and in the era of DOS, we would sit at our screens and there was a blinking cursor and there was a game um, called The Colossal Cave. And here's, here's how you played The Colossal Cave. So you, say, you typed in something like this. It said, uh, walk forward. And then the computer typed back, uh, you are in a big cave. <laughs> there is a small dwarf a diamond, and an axe. <laughs> and then you typed, the first time you played the game, uh, because you were a guy and you knew the game had been written by guys, uh, you, wrote, you typed in, kill the dwarf. <laughs> and then the computer typed back, you cannot kill the dwarf with your bare hands. You are dead, the game is over. Now, you may think that was pretty boring, but actually, we were so jazzed because the computer knew that we were trying to kill the dwarf with our bare hands. I mean, how did it know that? I mean, that was just so incredibly exciting. And so then, <laughs> you remember this? So then you waited the five minutes. You had chocolate. Well, <laughs> so then you waited the five minutes for the game to kind of uh, re reinitialize so you could play it again. And, uh, and then because you were smart, this time you typed uh, walk straight, and it said you're in a cave, there is a dwarf, a diamond, and an ax. And you, you typed what? Pick up the ax, throw it at the dwarf. <laughs> and then the computer said, the dwarf is dead. He has eviscerated in uh, some greasy smoke. Uh, and at that point, I yelled to my wife, honey, honey, I killed the dwarf. <laughs> and then she came running and looked at the screen uh, with Amber on her hip. Amber was about this big. Uh, and said, pick up the diamond, pick up the diamond. And <laughs> right? And, and, that's, and that's how it went. It was really exciting. And... So, so my view is this, uh, uh, it, it is the following, which is the future of social technology is to Twitter and Facebook, and et cetera, what Guitar Hero was to the Colossal Cave, right? It's impossible as we sit here to imagine how the technology is going to evolve, but I'm pretty sure uh, as I stand here that uh, it is going to bear uh, the same kind of resemblance. So uh, I want to, you know, with that as, a, as kind of the future, I want to say just a couple of things about my own personal limited experience uh, with Twitter. So when I became dean uh, last summer, I decided I needed to learn about this medium. So I did the, obviously, I mean, the obvious thing, which was what? I sat down with Jennifer Acker, so, uh, who I now think of, by the way, as at A-A-K-E-R or sometimes hashtag Stanford Post, but not as Jennifer Archer anymore. Uh, and I asked her about it, and she, she got me going. And here's what I think I've learned in my limited experience uh, with, uh, with the medium. Uh, the first is this. Uh, for a certain population, uh, this is just an incredibly powerful medium and far more powerful than anything else we have uh, at our disposal. And for me, mostly, you know, it's a little bit students, but actually it's mostly alumni. So I can keep alumni in touch with what's going on and, and, and the feel of the place and what we're doing uh, because they're opting in, because it's frequent, because it's highly targeted, 
uh, in a way that you just cannot do with email or print media. I mean, can you imagine sending an email, you know, once a day to your alumni telling them how exciting this place is? Uh, you know, that would last about a week. Uh, so it's incredibly powerful for, uh, for that set. Uh, the second thing I've learned is, uh, is that using this kind of technology actually increases uh, the need for traditional content. It doesn't decrease the need for traditional content because you have nothing to tweet about if you don't have the content, right? So these are actually complementary, and so we're going to spend more resources on traditional content than we did in the past, not fewer resources uh, on traditional content. Um, and the third is this, that, uh, that th this medium, at least for, uh, you know, for the next decade or, or so, is a complement to other traditional media. It is not a substitute for it. We have alumni who don't know what Twitter is, who are not on Facebook, and are not going to get on any day soon. So yeah, this is exciting, and it's, it's interesting, but it cannot be everything, and it, and it is not everything. It is part of a set uh, of tools. Uh, fourth thing I will say, uh, is that finding a voice on Twitter is, uh, is harder than it looks. Uh, you know, for, for someone in my position as the dean of the GSB, I mean, the voice uh, has to primarily be the, the, the voice of the dean of the GSB, whether that's me or somebody else, right, because this is the voice of the GSB, not just of me. But if you don't put some of your own voice in there, it, uh, it's uninteresting. So finding that balance between your own personal voice and then kind of the institutional voice uh, I think is a bit of a challenge and something that I personally uh, am, still, uh, am still working on. The, the last thing that I've learned, and then I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get off the podium and hand it over to this incredible panel, thank you so much for, uh, for being here today, uh, is that I will never, ever catch Jennifer in terms of followership. Um, so she was at about 700 when I got started. <laughs> well, so here's the tweet, right? You want to get, get me going? Here's the tweet, right? You know, you know at Saloner, uh, the future of social technology is to Twitter, et cetera, what uh, Guitar Hero is to uh, Pong, use Pong. <laughs> so all of you, that's your homework for today. Tweet that out, <laughs> tweet that out, and maybe I'll make some progress. You have real power. Maybe I'll, exactly, <laughs> we'll see. That, that's the power of in-person technology. Um, and so uh, with that, thank you all for being here. This is very exciting, and uh, I'm looking forward to a great panel. Thank you.